Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome to my discus tank. It's not a discus tank anymore. I'm okay with it, don't worry. Um, it looks so much better, doesn't it? Now, today's video is not about this discus tank, although we might do a video very soon. I kind of just wanted to fill in a little bit more, to be honest, but it's not gonna take that long. We're gonna talk about it in a different video soon. But today's video is about the new CO2 system that I'm trying out and I'm absolutely thrilled that it exists. And this is the citric acid and baking soda CO2 system. Sounds like it's DIY, but it's not really DIY. Now, first and foremost, I am horrified of filling up my CO2 bottles. It's not really that easy and it's not really fun either. Like I am lucky enough to actually have a place in my city that refills CO2 bottles, but it's not a nice place. It's very industrial. <laughs> It's very crowded and whenever I go they get like all of my ID details and it takes about a week for my bottle to be refilled and it's on the other side of the city. And I kind of don't want to go through that. I don't want to go through that. I don't, I've always hated it. I hated this aspect of refilling the CO2 bottles. Sure, I could theoretically bring it to my pet shop and again wait a while and then bring it back. But do I want to do that? I don't. I just, I don't. It's just something I don't want to do. So when I heard, and I heard this recently, I've, I was watching an MD Fish Tanks video. He set up a, an eight foot aquarium and he said something like, I don't want to refill bottles. Same girl, same. I don't want to refill bottles. I don't want to go through that. So I got this like um, citric acid and baking soda system. Excuse me, what? Did you mean to say yeast and sugar? Which don't start me with that. I messed up my room 20 years ago so many times with the yeast and sugar. No, thanks. No, it's not the yeast and sugar thing that we knew from back in the day. It's a brand new thing that maybe some of you already know about. So what it is, is a pressurized bottle, just like a normal CO2 system. But instead of refilling it, in a special place with CO2, spending half a day there, having somebody look at you and saying, the purpose of this request, aquarium. Aquarium? Aquarium. Fine. You know, not going through that, but mixing it in your home and having CO2 poof instantly, not having to wait five to seven business days. Now we're talking. So I went, on Amazon because of course nobody sells the system here. So I went to Amazon and I found one from F-Zone. He was using a different brand from Colombo or something. It's not available here. It's not available anywhere that I have access to. So I went to Amazon, found one from F-Zone. There are people that use this, like it looks the same, the same system from other brands. Might be a white label thing from Amazon as well. There are a few brands that you can find on Amazon. The one that was shipping to my country is from F-Zone. I don't care. So I purchased it and I mixed up my little ingredients and I have CO2. I have lots of CO2. It works great. I am excited. So I filmed the process. I filmed how I mixed everything. It was an interesting process and in, not in the good way. Uh, but if you're interested in this system, watch this video because the manual will not give you any good information. <laughs> So yeah, if you're interested in mixing and making your own CO2 at home without having yeast on your ceiling like I did, uh, watch this video because I'm quite impressed. All right, so the product arrives in two boxes. Here is the manual, by the way, if you want to pause and take a look at it. It's pretty useless, so don't look at it. <laughs> Inside the first box, we have a measuring cup and a funnel, which I discovered are too small for the four liter bottle as you will see further on. We also have a solenoid valve, which works great, but it's very tiny. It's the tiniest I've ever worked with. We also have a CO2 tube, which I think it's good quality. And also we have a diffuser and some accessories such as a U tube. I don't use them because I have a reactor, but if you don't have one, these are included in the package. I'm gonna test them on a different tank and see how good the diffuser is. And here we have the regulator with a spare o-ring. We have a bubble counter included and we also have this thing which the manual tells you not what it is. It's a filter and I'll show you where it goes. 
and the regulator looks pretty great it has two gauges and you can see a yellow sticker yeah that's where the filter goes and it protects the regulator from let's say liquid drops and only lets co2 gas pass and here is the four liter bottle it looks very sturdy very nice and best of all it has some stickers which remind you of the quantities of materials you will use so first off let's install the filter what we need to do is remove the sticker and just screw in the filter <laughs> sounds bad Next up, the solenoid valve. Uh, the instructions again tell you not where it goes, so I was like, well, I, I guess it goes here before the bubble counter. Um, so that's where I installed it and I think it's okay because it works. This is the smallest solenoid I've ever had. I only had the big ones that sometimes buzz and I have to say I do prefer this one. I hope it doesn't break, but it works great. There's also the cable that connects it to electricity and we also have some spare o-rings here as well i put them all in an envelope in case i need them now on top of the solenoid i am installing the bubble counter um, you see it has that nut on the top yeah if you don't have a bubble counter or if you don't need it you can install the tube on top of the solenoid um, but we need a bubble counter and here is me wondering if i did a good job and i don't know but it will have to do now we're gonna mix up our ingredients so here I am discovering that uh, the measuring cup provided is too small to measure 600 grams of each ingredient for the 4 liter bottle you will need 600 grams of baking soda and 600 grams of citric acid and 900 milliliters of water and I also discovered the funnel is a little bit too narrow for these ingredients I've already purchased a new funnel and a new measuring cup Oh, P.S. You will also need a kitchen scale for weighing your ingredients. And here I am trying to leveling a little bit the ingredients. And as per the instructions, when adding water, we need to tilt the bottle to 45 degrees and add the water slowly. And again, here I discovered that <laughs> the measuring cup is not enough. So it's 500 milliliters. I need another 400 milliliters. So in the middle of it, I had to tilt the bottle up again and refill my watering can, which is not ideal because the reaction already started. I was already hearing it bubbling, but again, I already purchased myself bigger measuring cans, but it's okay. It still worked out pretty great. So now it is time to place back the regulator with the filter inside the bottle, as you can see, and tighten it. We need to tighten it quite a bit but not excessively and it is hand tightened you do not need any utensils so don't overdo it with the tightness now let's add some water in the bubble counter and I'm just adding normal tap water there is also a fluid which you can use which doesn't evaporate as much as water does but I don't mind the water evaporation and now we install the tube just like we would a normal co2 system and we're pretty much done now time to clean up the mess we've created on the table because yes it is a messy messy process with the accessories provided in the box but i think we're done so here i am connecting the tube or actually running the tube to the reactor which we'll see in a different video and time to also plug it in i did put it on a timer but now i just wanted to see if it works the needle valve is very sensitive but not more sensitive than anything i've ever worked with i managed to set my co2 flow at around two and a half bubbles per second now when i'm recording this i'm running three bubbles per second after 24 hours the pressure in the bottle rose to about 300 psi and after 48 hours it went up to 400 psi which as far as i can tell from other videos it's pretty normal it's what we're aiming for the uh, instructions don't don't say anything about that again so in the next few days the maximum that i got was around 400 and a little psi i would say around 400 psi which is great Righty, so at a glance, that's the system. Now this is the third or fourth day I'm using it. I'm still at 400 PSI in the bottle. That will be, I guess, half of the amount of that size of a bottle. So if you would have like a four kilogram bottle, and you'd go to refill it, I think you would have somewhere between 800 to 1000 PSI, which is still fine. I mean, I can go to the supermarket, get my ingredients whenever they're super cheap and mix it whenever I'm out. And it's instant. I think it's worth it. I think it's absolutely worth it. Now, will it stand the test of time? I do not know. 
We shall see. There are some videos on the internet with other people using the system for longer than I did and results are very encouraging, so I'm very hopeful. My problem is that solenoid, it's so tiny and flint is the tiniest solenoid I've ever seen and I've ever worked with. Maybe I just had, you know, the big ones that sometimes buzz. You know, maybe I just don't have enough experience with solenoids, but it's a little tiny and flimsy and I hope it's not gonna break because I don't know where to purchase another one. Anyway, other than that, I don't think it's flimsy. I don't think anything will break. The, the bottle is pretty solid and the regulator looks pretty solid. I think it actually is such a wonderful viable solution. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, the working pressure is 50 psi, I have 50 psi, which is wonderful, which means you can actually use a diffuser. If you have smaller tanks or maybe you just want to use a diffuser, you need a bit of pressure and sometimes not even, you know, the tiny bottles give you that pressure. Yeah, that can happen. Uh, but with this working pressure, you can definitely use a diffuser. I don't need this amount of pressure because now I started to use a reactor, which we're gonna make a video on it soon as well. So theoretically, I don't need that much pressure. But if you were wondering if it's enough for, you know, that bazooka type of diffuser, which can require a bit of pressure, yeah, it's enough, absolutely. So far, it has been working beautifully. There is nothing wrong with my feelings, nothing exploded so far. <laughs> Why would it? I don't think it would. Um, and yeah, we'll come back, I guess, with a video when it's time to refill. I'll tell you how long it will last me. I'm hoping for a couple of months. If it lasts me a couple of months, I'm gonna be super happy because I'm currently running more than two seconds, uh, two bubbles per second. It's more like two and a half bubbles per second. Maybe I will increase it in the future, who knows? But yeah, I'll keep you up to date in a future video. For now though, I cannot tell you how happy and excited I am that this thing exists. I know you might say, oh, you're so weird. You don't want to go and refill your CO2 bottles. There's nothing to it. It is for me. It's anxiety inducing. I don't know why it is. So this system is created for people like me. So if you're similar to me, yeah, uh, I'll link you to the Amazon product down below or a similar one. I don't know exactly how available like F zone is everywhere, but as I was saying, it looks very similar to all of the other systems that have different brand names. Maybe the sticker is a little different, but I think it's very, very similar, if not identical to other systems. So I'll link you to whatever I find on the internet down below. And if you're using something similar, let me know how is it working for you long-term? Because I'm hopeful and I'm hoping it will work. I didn't mention price. Price-wise, not the cheapest, but the systems, the proper systems, the CO2 systems, if you get them branded in my country, they're twice the price. My country is very expensive, just so you know. So price-wise, I don't know if it's like very appealing. I think it's kind of the same price, but the fact that you don't have to, you know, go and fill it up, that's, it's made for me. So yeah, I'm hoping it will stand the test of time because I really enjoy it so far and I'll keep you up to date. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos about the new plant to tank and also about the reactor, the CO2 reactor. So with that said, I'll end it here. I'll stop blabbing and I'll see you next time. Bye.